one of those things that keeps me awake at night. I want people to live in the fullness that God has for them. You know, I, I want you to know something. I loved what you said a moment ago that we're not saying we'll never be back in one because you can never be certain of that as long as we're drawing breath on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. But this I'll tell you that one of the things that God used to keep me out of a pit at the time I wrote it, it would have just been a pit of, of despair. I really came to a place of, of feeling like I couldn't take a certain thing happening again. Anybody know what I'm talking about? When you seem to deal with a, a long-term relational issue that just keeps giving you some serious, serious pain. And I thought, you know, I, I was dealing with some health problems. I was having to give up something dear to me. And all those things are, are behind me now. But at that moment, I thought, you know, you, you could step back in that hole right now. You could go back in a hole of despair mm -hmm. and just feel complete darkness in your soul if you want to. And, you know, I knew I did not. And so part of the way that I was able to really key into God's Word and stay out of that hole was to write that book. And mm. I was so appreciative to the Lord because He let me feel it again. What the temptation and the pull is to just go, you know, for a while I'm just too tired to fight it. Yeah. And, and we're not, we're not. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. But for that moment, I think everybody can relate to that. You just think, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna lay down for a while.